achieve a real one while well, I got enough. And the second part being the last name, which is in fact both my mother's maiden name and my middle name. And while my family may pronounce it soyce, rhyming with voice rather than rhyming with goose, you, my dear friends, may all call me Dr. Seuss. <laughs> We've got a lot of people that cross from the afterlife to come here tonight. They've come with their poems. They've come with their sonnets. They've come wearing bustiers, bullets, and bonnets. They've come to speak words. They've come to speak phrases. They've come to speak verses in so many ways. So, raise up a chair and put together your hands. It's the annual infamous Dead Poet Slam! Now, unfortunately, we've got a few jokers that decided to show up alive to read poems, and I don't like to turn anybody away because I'm a fan of the craft, and I'm not going to hold anything back here. I want to get it going right away with the open mic. We'll go over the rules and such later and talk about our fantastic feature. Does anybody know who the feature is tonight? Oh my god, are you ever in for a surprise? Straight from the dead, he's the man that took us out of a generation of guitars and hair bands. Mr. Musical Guest, Kurt Cobain is here to entertain you tonight. I see his bullet hole is real nicely. Oh! Oh, too soon! Now, did I ever tell you that Mrs. McCabe had 23 sons and she named them all Dave? Well, she did, and it wasn't a smart thing to do. You see, when she wants one and calls out, Yoo-hoo! Come into the house, Dave! She doesn't get one. All 23 names of hers come on the run. This makes things quite difficult at the McCaves, as you can imagine, with so many days. And often she wishes that when they were born, she had called one of them Bodkin Van Horn, and one of them Hoosfoos, and one of them Snim, and one of them Hotshot, and one Sunny Jim, and one of them Shadrach, and one of them Blinky, and one of them Stuffy, and one of them Stinky. Another one Putt Putt, another one Moonface, another one Marvin O' Gravel Balloon Face. Jim Carroll knows the word. And one soggy muff, one buffalo bill, and one biffalo muff, and one of them sneepy, and one weepy weed, and one Paris Garters, and one Harris Tweed, and one of them Sir Michael Carmichael Zutt, and one of them Oliver Bolliver Butt, and one of them Zanzibar Buck Buck McFate. But she didn't do it, and now it's too late. Give it more for Dr. Seuss, everybody. Give it a fantastic.